Hi, good morning. Today is uh, Friday, 30th of November, 2020. And uh, we started off with this uh, potato patch about exactly three and a half weeks ago. Uh, I did the seeding on the right side about four weeks ago. And in the last video that we did, I did these two aisles about a little over, like I said, three weeks ago. So if I could just show you the progress of four weeks on the first one, two, three, four, five, five aisles, as you can see that uh, the plants have grown exponentially. And uh, especially on this side, even th the funny thing is that in three weeks, the growth is so amazing that it has, it has actually started flowering as well. Um, the growth has been really good. And like I said in the last video that the, the mix that we did for this patch was uh, compost, mulch, uh, a bit of gypsum before we were preparing the patch. And it's pretty much really nice and soft. When I stand over it, it's like standing over a mattress. I mean, this is so soft. So the deadline that I'd given you guys was December, but I was really surprised looking at the flowering of the plants this morning. But we are still gonna dig them out uh, around uh, Christmas time. So, I mean, the growth is amazing. I've not even given them any nitrogen as yet. I was thinking of giving them any nitrogen in the process, but I don't think that the quality of the ground is so good uh, that we don't need to give anything to it. Now, on that note, a few friends of mine, which are local to Christchurch in Ashburton and uh, surrounding areas, uh, they had uh, asked me a few questions about uh, what to do when your plant is growing exponentially. Do we need to trim it? Do we need to prune it? The answer is no. Uh, because it's a root vegetable, if we would uh, chop it down or we would, uh, not chop down is not the right word, if you would start pruning or trimming the plant, the message that we are trying to broadcast to the roots is to create more shoots. So just let it go. Let the plant grow the way it should and eventually it will start flowering all over and uh, pruning is a big no-no on that one. So as you can see the patch, I mean, this is absolutely fabulous. It's really majestic. I'm, I'm really happy with the work that we have done here. And uh, hopefully by the Christmas time, we would get a uh, decent, rather more than decent amount of uh, potatoes from this patch. We uh, are so looking forward to it. And of course, when all of this is ready, We'll give you guys uh, another video of when we'll dig out all the, the potatoes from the patch. So if you have any questions, uh, anything you need to ask about uh, doing the potatoes, how to put them into the patches. Once again, the distance that I have kept between each plant, if you would look on the other side of the patch as well, it's approximately one foot difference that we have kept in all the plants. So the roots can, you know, they can nourish and they can, you know, build uh, all the bunches underneath the ground really nice and good. And they're not jumbled up together. So, like I said, if any other questions, pop us into the comments and uh, we'll be more than happy to share the knowledge. All right. I hope you guys are doing uh, awesome in your garden patches and you guys are having a cracking summer. So that's about it for now for this patch. Thank you very much and have a good day to you.